all right so in today's video what i'm going to do is i'm going to walk you through how to get recruiters in your dm or linkedin okay hello everyone and welcome back to the youtube channel i am Rida olabisi if you're here for the first time i would need you to smash that subscribe button again okay? it really helps my channel to grow all right so in today's video what i'm going to do is i'm going to walk you through how to get job offers via linkedin so let's get straight into it all right so to get job offers or to get recruiters in your dm on linkedin what you need is you need your profile to show up in their search results while they are adulting so adulting is basically the same thing as executive search it's a process whereby recruiters look for the best possible fit for a particular role so now recruiters use platforms like linkedin to source for candidates so the question is how can you get your profile to pop up in their search results so let's say for example i am a recruiter or i'm an editor and i'm recruiting for the role of a data analyst right then i go to linkedin recruiter because recruiters have a different interface entirely from the general one that we have access to right so there is linkedin recruiter so now i'm going to put in seven Certain keywords that will refine and reduce the number of search results that I would get. All right, so if I was recruiting for the role of a data analyst, for example, I would use keywords like data analyst, I'll use keywords like data scientist, I'll use keywords like data mining, I'll use keywords like big data to search and look for candidates, right? And it's people who have those keywords on their profiles that would pop up in my search results. So what you as a candidate or someone who is actively looking for a new job can do is use chat. GPT, right? And I'm going to walk you through how to do that. So, all right. So the first thing you want to do is come to LinkedIn.com, right? Then we go to jobs. We want to pick just a generic job role. So let's pick um, um senior program manager, right? So as you can see, there is a role overview. There is what you do that responsibilities right and then if you scroll down you see what you bring that's basically your qualification so what we want to do is want to copy everything from the summary to the qualification right so i'm gonna just copy this all right so i'm stopping here preferred skills and experience and then i copy that so we go to chat gpt right so i'm here because i'm opening it for the first time that's why you can see this here so next 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 done so i'm going to paste here i'm going to send then i'm going to search what are the most important keywords here the most important All right, so you can see that ChatGPT has generated 24 keywords in the passage that was pasted above, right? So what you can do then as someone who is interested in a particular role, just copy the job application. That's the qualification, the summary of the role and what you're going to do on the job. Paste it on ChatGPT and then let them bring out the keywords for you and once you've identified just go to the first 10 keywords right so as you can see you can see operational model you can see project management you can see global programs lead programming so the first 10 keywords are keywords that you can focus on and then use and place them strategically on your profile so that's when recruiters are actually looking for these roles you will pop up in your search results because you already have the keywords that are necessary for that particular role. So this particular role is flex senior manager, right? So it could be project management you're interested in, it could be data analytics, whatever the case may be. Just get the opening of LinkedIn, paste it on ChatGPT, find the keywords and put them on your profiles. All right, so now that we've gotten the keywords, what you can do is to strategically place those keywords on your profile. You can place it on your summary, your headline, your job title, your job description, your skills section. Just place it at those particular places, just so that it increases the chances of your profile popping up in the search results of recruiters when they are edge hunting for your particular field or the particular role that you are interested in. So that has brought us to the end of today's video. Do not forget to smash that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up.